Alright, this right here is the horizontal saw. Nothing great about it. Uh, it's just sawing off a piece of metal right now. Uh, Pam does all the sawing. Uh, I made this little apparatus with a stop. And she does all the sawing. We lubricate our bearings with a, a particular type of coolant. Uh, you see right there, get ready to go through. Uh, this is the previous part that she's been sawing on. It's gone through. You can see the kind of guide it has. Cool it right there. Water and air blows the chip off. As you can see it. And these little teeth that you can put your you know standard key blocks in. And this is a little feed mechanism. Water goes through it. And you can see the little pistons underneath. Those pistons are also used as the guides uh, for the uh, machine. If you want it to be back to level, you simply put a block of wood or steel and you would lower this table down here to its level with this table. Then you would lock the lock underneath of it in the middle and your table then would be level with each other. Again, this table by itself feeds. That's what makes it so accurate. Now she's going to take a part out. We're going to take it over this measuring uh, uh, marble table and we're going to try to see she's going to deburr it and we'll try to see just Um, she's going to go over there and remove a little bit of the burrs off the back. Now, to saw through that piece, it takes very little time. She's burning it right now. Um, and I'm going to take it over here and set it under the measuring mini Toyo, which is a pretty new device. I bought it brand new about three or four months ago. Now I'll move it over right now. You can see it's above the block. I'm not sure, <laughs> to be honest with you. I was looking for the center punch myself. All right, so we, we bring it down and we're gonna to touch off on it. It's above it right now. We're gonna come down, let it float, let it float. You can see I'm just letting it float down and I'm gonna give it a little bit of encouragement with my finger, okay? You can see it just barely touched the top. Now we're gonna look at the dimension right now. If I can get the sun out of the light or whatever. Um, yeah. All right, that's uh, five inches, eight fifty-five and a half, floating between fifty, uh, eighty-five and a half. All right. Now I'm gonna take this piece out, lift this up so it won't scratch it. She's gonna set the second piece down. She just cut, and yeah, she's gonna do it this time, but. Anyhow, we're going to try to make sure there's no burrs on the back. Come over, we're going to touch off on it. And a little bit off. This is our first saw of the day. That's uh, five thousandths. That's uh, 190 and a half. Um, could be a burr, could be, but they're pretty daggone accurate. I guess that's the point. Um, you can see right there where it's touching off and dimension 190 and a half. That's plus or minus two thousands, two and a half thousand, I guess. So, 
Um, we're going to demo one more. Um, the first one is usually uh, after you, you, you start it back up. That's usually a little bit off. But we'll see what we can do again. She's over sanding the other one. This time, sand on four sides, honey. Last time, you only deburred two sides. Rookies. You gotta watch these rookies. She's she done this. And I, like I said, she's probably got. Well, the saw originally had. How many hours of saw does it have, honey? 26.3. How much? 26.3. Okay, so now it's got how many? 27.6. So it's got 27, so she, her experience is all of one machine hour, I guess. Now she's going to pull it back, uh, trying to hold that heavy piece of steel. <laughs> all right, so she's pulling it back. Now you have to pull it back to get the part in there. And she's, she's going to let it drift down through there. She, she, it's just gravity. It lets it go down so we're not really that accurate about it i was going to put clamps on it but so far we haven't needed that will you turn my coolant on she's she's ordered me to turn her coolant on so <laughs> we'll turn her coolant on for her uh she fixed a really good breakfast uh supper so what the hell anyhow turn that on she just turned it on in the beginning it rattled just a little bit because this safety door vibrates a little bit, but anyhow, after it gets in, starts settling down, you can see what she's doing. It's cutting like the chicken. something a little better than that I think but we're just gonna do this one job the Chinese make these knives and they're not lasting very long and we we seem to think that we can make them last longer um, the secret actually is in these guys uh, if they get a little bit loose you can undo the Allen set screw push them down and they'll tighten up the accuracy even more than it is now but when you're doing a saw operation plus or minus 10 to 15 thousand is considered pretty accurate as you can see we're plus or minus the last one two and a half thousand but i think it probably had a burr on it we'll find it real soon but you can adjust it down to the nitty gritty i can promise you that because we're, we're, if we get off on that saw over there, the, the Kalamazoo saw, if we get off on that one, it makes this piece longer. And although the bottom piece we can control, we can measure that and see how consistent that is, but we may not be as consistent on the length. So you imagine we got to do both pretty consistent. And you can see it just saw through. She's going to cut it off. It's got that automatic panel box thing. Uh, up here is all your surface feed per minute for all the different materials. And you'll be cutting and how thick, what blade to use, everything like that. Over here is your panel box that says, you know, turn off, turn on. Uh, it's got a lamp. I don't think we've ever used a lamp, have we? No. Uh, it's got an automatic blade sawer and grinder this is the grinder down here and that's the blade welder uh and that's how you cut your blade off with this little device right here 
right here is your transmission this uh, has a high and low range right here is the crank that will allow you to adjust that surface feed per minute um, as I said this was the original tape on this machine talking about all the features we tore it off but that's it's been stuck on there for so long that um, couldn't, get it couldn't get it all off and didn't want to worry about it this here's all about your blade force high low force all that kind of thing uh, it, it even gives you your belt tension uh, when you put too much belt tension not enough belt tension this right here is a dial that indicates all that I don't know if you can see it very good but tells you what blade and how much tension to put on the blade so that you know I'm, I'm gonna pluck it right now the tension is pretty good but that actually tells you exactly what it should be it's all automatic all right so she's gonna take this part out we're gonna try to you know deburr it and uh, measure this one um, Now turn it around, show her, show her what, what kind of sawing is going on. Turn it a little more angle. Um, that's pretty clean saw. Now show the other side. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's pretty dang on. It's not rough. It's flat, flat as can be. I'm, I'm just flabbergasted at how well this saw is done how straight how flat the whole nine yards Don't make me get all messed up now. now she puts a punch mark on it to indicate which one is the top one this is the bottom one we and which one's the bottom one the reason for that is because we can adjust this one here with this blade and we can adjust the one over there for the Kalamazoo Kalamazoo how you say that right here and the problem with that is all this is not as an accurate setup as I have over there but it you know it's it's fairly accurate I, I say anytime you can solve two pieces within plus or minus a couple thousands doing you're doing pretty up. good I know just just you're doing all edges no just the bottom okay. just the bottom of the pieces. Four sides. One little burr can be as much as three to five thousand, so you've got to be kind of careful about that. <laughs> 